Solid metal body, glass front panel with large screen. Has Xiaomi released a brand new flagship smartphone? Nope. Today I've got the latest budget model of early 2016 Xiaomi Redmi 3. Many have already appreciated the benefits of this phone's previous generations, Redmi and Redmi 2. Although the phones fall into the budget segment, they confidently compete with more expensive phones. The phone's appearance alone raises a lot of expectations. The staggering figure of 4100 mAh captures the attention. Will Redmi 3 repeat the huge success of its predecessors? My name is Dmitro Voloshin. This is Xiaomi Redmi 3. Let's find out. <laughs> The first thing that comes to mind when you take Redmi 3, hey, is this thing really budget? Redmi 3 has a full metal and glass body, 5-inch HD screen, which occupies pleasantly big part of the phone's front, has a narrow frame and is covered with Gorilla Glass 2. The phone looks good. It's available in four colors, gold, dark gray, silver, and classic gold. The IPS screen is 1280 by 720 IPS panel, has wide viewing angles and rich colors. Its white balance can be adjusted. There also is a special reading mode. The pixel density of 294 ppi is sufficient and modern enough on a non-pentile 5-inch screen. The maximum brightness is not as high as that of the top phones, but is still readable under direct sunlight. Above the screen, the speaker, the proximity sensor and the brightness sensor, and the front camera, all the usual. Below, the capacitive touch buttons, recently launched home and back, and the unusually placed notification LED. The buttons are not backlit, which was my biggest concern about the Redmi 2, and this remains unfixed. On the left side, a tray with the space for two SIM cards, micro and nano SIM, ejected with a clip. Both slots support 4G. The nano SIM slot can take a 120 28GB microSD card instead. On the right, the usual volume up down rocker and the power button which are made of metal. At the top, headphone jack, noise cancelling microphone and an infrared port. The rear side of the phone is made of metal, decorated with a diamond pattern. Except for the narrow top and bottom strips made of metal-like plastic. Also here is the lens of a 13 megapixel rear camera and a flash LED. Below, the loudspeaker grill with a tiny piece of plastic that prevents it being muted by the surfaces it lies upon. The phone is easy to hold and it is, thankfully, not at all as slippery as Redmi 2. You get used to the phone quickly. The device has an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 616 processor, 4x1.5 and 4x1.2 GHz with Adreno 405 video. The phone is fast, runs the program smoothly, desktop and menu animations are flawless. Redmi 3 works on Android 5.1 out of the box with the MyUI 7 shell on top. MyUI was never really sluggish on even slower hardware, so expectedly, no issues here. Redmi 2 was released in two versions, with 1 and 2 GB of RAM and 8 and 16 GB of internal storage respectfully. Redmi 3 has just one version, the 2GB 16GB combination. That I consider enough for the majority of the smartphone users, and immediately after startup you'll have 1200 megabytes of free RAM, which is a lot, and about 11 gigs of storage available. Unlike most of the flagships in the recent years, it has the microSD slot. The N226 reports almost 32,000 points, while Redmi 2 had only 19,000. That is a serious leap for just one generation ahead. 32,000 points is on par with the middle class competitors released this year. That's a serious advantage. Redmi 3 has no problem playing modern games at maximum settings. Real Racing 3 and World of Tanks run very fast and smooth. FPS rarely drops below 30. Interfaces. Everything is there but the NFC really. There is the Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth version 4 low energy, GPS with AGPS and GLONASS, and the OTG. The camera, it's 13 megapixels, 2.0 aperture opening, makes much better daylight pictures than its predecessor, but in low light the quality is about the same. For the budget, the pictures are at least on par with the competition, but but mostly they are better. The rear camera also shoots decent quality full HD video. The front camera was upgraded significantly though. Now it has 5 megapixels and the photo quality improved much. It now has the trendy beautify feature that smooths out the skin and makes selfies prettier. And now the magic 4100 mAh statement. It's non-removable battery capacity. That is huge. This is more than in a thousand inch million gram flagships. And here we have a moderate screen resolution, energy efficient hardware and my UI shell that is very light on the resources. That makes up for two to three full days without turning off at night. The evening of the second day of my usual usage, it indicated 55% charge. How about that? On the third day, I decided to try to discharge the rest of the battery in one day, and after a busy third day, it went charging with 6% still left. Redmi 3 supports quick 2 amp charging. It takes nearly an hour to charge the battery from 0 to 60%, and 2 hours and 30 minutes to 100%. Considering how much 60% in this phone 
phone really is, it's plenty fast. It is pleasant to use this phone. Xiaomi offers a lot of services from the box, so you can use Redmi 3 like any other phone of this brand immediately after purchasing it without installing any third-part applications. Now, things I didn't like. Twisting the body or pressing the screen in a few places produces mild squeaky sounds and minor screen flexing. These are hard to put your finger on, but when comparing it to more expensive phones like Xiaomi's own Mi 4, they become evident. Redmi 3 is for those who need a capable smartphone. It is a pleasure to hold, it's convenient to use, it looks good to the others, and has that price-to-value wow factor. Xiaomi yet again raised the bar for a budget phone to comply. That's all folks, stay with us, subscribe to this YouTube channel to get the Xiaomi videos first. This was Dmitro Voloshin, have a good luck.